hello guys welcome back to my channel so today's video I'm gonna be showing you um, different hair brands and different techniques to achieve the distress locks so as you all know if you've watched my previous video which you can also watch and I can link some in the description I usually use the kinky bulk as my base and then um, I can use different wrapping um, different another different um, hair brand for the wrapping so this is exactly how I prep my hair to before I start um, my locks I usually um, cut the kinky hair into two anyways that depends on the length you are going for for this first one I will be using the Viva Fox I actually got this um, particular brand from the beauty supply so most of the hair brands I'm gonna be using here uh, um, can be found online and also at the beauty supply So guys, I'm mainly going to be doing three methods for this tutorial. I'm going to be doing the thumb method, the pinch method, and the freestyle. The thumb method was actually, the first person I actually saw do it was my friend, Olama Treasure. You can check out her channel. And also, I don't know if, you know, I wouldn't say she's a creator, but she is the first person I've seen do it. And also, I personally use the freestyle method, which you're going to be seeing um, shortly. But this is a thumb method. It gives um, a very distressed um, look. Um, if you want your hair, um, if you want your look really messy and kind of give you this, you know, very messy look, I would say, this method will be good for you and it's very easy. So it's just wrap and you take out a section with your thumb and wrap, take out a section with your thumb. So guys, if you consider using this brand, I would say four to five packs will be good for a made back length. And also I would just um, buy more hair just in case for like a shorter length for like bulb. But if you're going for like a longer length, I would say six to seven just in case you might use less but this all depends if you use a different hair for the base like i do with the kinky twist In my opinion, for distress locks, the hair can be a factor, but the hair does not really matter. All that matters is the technique, because I've seen different videos, different um, different um, outcome, and people use different brands, and it still gives you the distress look you're going for. It just depends on the technique. So guys, Nick, this next um, method is going to be the pinch method. So it's just taking a side or an inch of the hair and just wrapping. For this particular hair brand, the pinch method might not be the best. But I've seen people with, you know, this type of messy look and it's still very pretty. So I would just say it depends on what you like and, you know, what kind of look you are going for. Okay. 
another way of um, making this look better is <clears throat> I'm sorry guys for the if my voice sounds cracky um, is taking a little strand and wrapping over it this also gives a distressed look and you know it just it, it doesn't give it a fine look it just makes it really messy so this can actually work depend on the brand you are using So guys, I found this particular hair brand at my beauty supply and I decided to give it a try. I tried it on my client and it looked really nice. So I was like, yeah, I think I would use this if I do not find the hair brand that I, you know, would use on a regular day. So guys, I would say for this um, thumb method, the consistency would be wrap one, two, thumb, wrap one, two, thumb, just to make it really accurate.
so guys this is my new almost favorite brand I love this hair because you can use it for passion twist if you haven't seen my passion twist video where I explain different methods for passion twist please check it out now and um, yeah I really love this hair brand because it gives me this spring twist even fluffier you know vibe I would say um, yeah I really like this hair and um, I usually get this hair from the beauty supply um, sells it but it can be pricey I usually get it from wigs type or wig types something like that but yeah it's an online um, store that it also ships really fast so you guys can check it out and this is not a sponsored post this is not a sponsored post a tutorial but yeah I'm just saying that they're very reliable and effective when it comes to shipping and you can also find this brand on there So guys, this is your regular free trust hair that you use for um, the passion twist. Um, so I would say for people who like their lock to be shiny, because I've actually had that question before of um, someone asking me what kind of hair to use if you want the lock shiny. I would suggest using um, the free trust hair, but try getting the one with like um, kind of tighter coils that can hold up, you know, when wrapping. That would give you the shiny look you want. So guys, this is the kinky bulk. Um, in my previous video for the passion twist, I told you guys the two ways your kinky bulk can look. So I'm going to be showing you the two different methods and the two different looks.
So guys, this is the first um, kinky bulk I'll be showing you. And I also have a detailed video about comparing the kinky bulk to the spring twist hair. Because um, they can actually look very different sometimes. So guys, this is one of the most reliable hair for um, the Distress Locks. This is a spring twist hair. Um, I personally use this. But lately, since everyone is using it um, and buying it, the price has actually gone really high. It's not quite expensive. So um, that's why I tend to do research or just find new hair brands that I can use to achieve the same look. So guys, this is how I personally do my distressed looks. I just wrap loosely and um, I just keep going and going. But um, I use the um, kinky twist hair for as my base and then use the spring twist hair as the wrapping hair. And I just wrap um, loosely and it just gives me um, the tension free, very lightweight um, look that I go for. So, like I said, it all depends on the type of look you want to go for. So um, I hope this um, quick tutorial was helpful to someone out there and um, thank you guys for watching my videos. I'm really grateful. Thank you to my new subscribers 
Thank you to my old subscribers. Thank you to everyone who always comes back. And um, like I said, like I always say, if you have questions, um, concerns, you can always leave them in the description. Um, you can always leave them in the comment section or you can just send me a DM on Instagram. Or if you have a video or um, a tutorial you want me to do, I would be excited to do it and, you know, show you guys. Um, thank you guys and I'll see you in my next video.